Earthlings and everyone, I'm Nikki Jones and I'm with Earthling Bee Co. We're out here today at Gavis Arboretum and we're gonna talk about honeybees. So we're gonna be installing some honeybees today into these new hives that the students have so beautifully painted. Thank you so much for that. You guys did an amazing job. But we're gonna first, before we move into putting honeybees in, we're gonna talk about what, what is that exactly is a beehive? What makes a beehive? So we're gonna jump right in. So we, you see we have cinder blocks here that's gonna act as like sort of our uh, foundation to get the hive up off the ground just a little bit. But it, the hive starts with the bottom board. So this is a screen bottom board and it goes on the bottom of the beehive. This basically forms the entrance. The bees are gonna end up coming right in here once everything is stacked up. Now this screen is helps with ventilation and also like it can help with some, some pest control. And this is, has a removable um, piece in here. So this insert can be taken out so that you can have even more airflow through the hive. For now, since we're just starting off and, and have some cool nights still, we're gonna leave that in. We can get it back in, let's see. Okay, well maybe we won't leave it. <laughs> there we go, okay. So there's our, there's our bottom board. So that's what you start with. And next we start adding boxes. So this box is called the brood chamber. We call it that because the queen raises her brood in here. So the queen will basically live in here and establish the colony in this box. And she'll grow the colony in here and, and make a bunch of babies. So this is where the baby bees are born and live. And so we stack that right on top of the bottom board. And this is the beginnings of a beehive. So now you can see we've formed an entrance. So this is where the bees come and go, right down here at the base. And so this box has frames in it. <clears throat> and this is a frame. And so the, so this has a, a hexa, hexagonal pattern on it that's already established on plastic and is coated with beeswax. And so that the beeswax coating helps the bees to sort of, they take to it, they adhere to it. They like wax because they produce wax. And so they smell that and they say, okay, let's build here. And so they're gonna build wax out and they'll build it almost as thick as the, uh, the top bar of this frame. So a big sheet of wax and it'll have little cells in it. And the cells are where they store all of their resources. So they'll store like their babies, they'll, they'll put honey in there, they'll put and make honey in there, they'll put pollen in there and, and, and everything that they need to maintain the colony. All right. So then once this box is, is on, this is how our hive will start. Now we'll put a lid on it, but that's all you'll start with is one box. So in about a month, hopefully, they'll, it depends on the weather and it depends on the bloom, it depends on how hard the bees are working, but all of those factors taken into consideration, maybe in a month we'll add a second box, but, in, but we judge this by frames of bees. So like when I'm looking in this hive, when I see the, that the bees have built out and they're covering about eight frames or so, then I know it's time to add another box because we want to give them space. If they like to be in a tight kind of in confined environment, but they have to have enough space to work and build or they feel like, okay, we need to go find a new home. We don't want them to do that. We want them here. So then we add another box and you'll notice as we add these boxes that we're making a beautiful picture here that this is the art that the students have created. So this one says right on the front, gave us our room, we love it. And so then now we have both brood chambers this is the top and the bottom brood chamber, and this is where all the baby, you know, the baby, the young production and all the offspring will be down in here. The queen mostly works in here. And so this is the, the workhorse of the hive, this part. And so, but then all of a sudden we'll have a lot of yummy stuff blooming and that'll start the honey flow. So when the nectar starts coming in, we're gonna start adding more boxes. So when this one starts getting full, about eight frames of bees, then we're gonna add honey supers. And there we go. So that's our first honey super. And, and so through the season, as these fill up, we could keep stacking them. They might be taller than me by the end of the season and that's what we hope for. So then we're gonna add another honey super just to show you how a complete hive looks. And so now, as when you have all this, and of course these have frames in here too, just like how we explained with the bottom frames, except these frames, be full of yummy medicinal awesome raw local honey all right so then you have a couple other components to the hive this is an inner cover and so you see it has a little a hole in the top and that acts as a secondary 
sort of entrance for the bees. It adds, it helps with ventilation. And so that goes on. And then to top it off, we put the outer cover. Some guys just say the lid and we just put that right on. And that's how you build a beehive. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm John Bachman from Purdue Northwest. And I'm Nikki Jones with Earthling Bee Co. And we're here to bring uh, honeybees to Purdue Northwest. And we're out at uh, Gabus Arboretum at Purdue Northwest in Valparaiso, Indiana. And uh, I'd like to f thank first uh, our provost, uh, Chris Holford. Uh, thank you for um, help sponsoring this and helping bring uh, making this a reality, bringing honeybees to Purdue Northwest. And I'd like to thank the students, all the students who took the time to paint these. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And uh, None of my hives are as beautiful as this, man. You guys, all of you did such an amazing job. All the art is fantastic. I can tell you put your heart and soul into it. Thank you so much. And, uh, well, we'll be uh, letting the, uh, putting the bees in the hive. I'm uh, thoroughly protected because I have not been doing this and Nikki has been doing this for many years and it, he's our expert. Okay, and we'll talk about, while we're on that, we'll talk about gear because, even, you know, this is a, not necessarily a disclaimer, but I like, I like safety. And so if you're a new beekeeper or even an experienced one, we all know that there's a time to put that stuff on. And so like anytime that you're new dealing with something, new bees or whatever and you put on your gear wear protective gear we like to push that because you know and, and make sure you know if you if you don't know if you're allergic or not then it's not a bad idea to have an epi pen close by you know because there you know people can have allergic reactions to bee stings so be protected and be safe on top before anything else um i'm out here with no gear on because you know the, they're at this point the bees are pretty docile they're, they're, since they've been in this cage for a few days, they're almost sort of like in a swarm mentality. And so they're not really, they're not protecting a hive per se. So they're, and honeybees are gentle anyway, but for the most part, um, we don't get stung too much or, or really at all so far putting in these, putting in these colonies. So, ready? ready? Let's do this. Okay. <clears throat> so what we have here is a box of bees. So this is a three pound package of honeybees. Now the, this, by weight, uh, there's usually about three to four thousand bees per pound, and so you're looking in this box. This is three pounds, so this is about ten thousand bees, and there's a queen in there, and then you can see on top that that silver circle. There's a feeder can. So wherever the bees came from, which these specific bees came out of Cali, they had to eat on the way here, and that's what the can of food is for. And there's also a queen in here, and she's caged separately because the, it's a new queen to this colony and then they wanted to ensure that, that she's accepted before she's just released into here and it sort of helps us keep up with her when we're trying to install the bees. Now you can see on the side of this package it has an I. That stands for Italian. These are Italian honeybees. So Italian honeybees are, are pretty notorious for being gentle bees and they also make a lot of honey, which we like. So 
this is the we're putting Italian honeybees right here and at, at, at Purdue Davis Arboretum so let's go all right we're gonna sit these girls down and girls thank you for hanging out with us today and being amazing and we'll open up the hive so first we remove the outer cover and the inner cover and now we're gonna take out some frames to make room for those bees so five frames come out we're gonna set those off to the side and then we're gonna also um, we're gonna supplement them a little bit and so this is these frames are bare this is new new foundations wax foundation so that they have a lot of work to do to build this to make it ready to store resources so to save them some of that work we're gonna take out three more frames thank you John and we're gonna install some frames now these are these are medium frames but that's okay they'll be in they won't be in there long um, and we're gonna this one has honey on it in fact that side is completely capped honey and so this sadly this honey is from hives that didn't make the winter and um, so we're this is something that we're thoroughly researching and investigating and trying to work towards more sustainable beekeeping we want bees that are happy and healthy all year long it's even in the winter and that make it but the ones that don't we don't extract and har we don't hun harvest this honey and extract it for, for us to use we always take that honey and give it back to new colonies in the spring so that so that the bees that made this honey they, their their legacy sort of carries on in this new colony so that's what we're doing here is we're adding a couple frames of honey that's these two but we are also going to give these girls a frame of pollen and so pollen the bees take pollen and they they store pollen to make to mainly to feed the young and so this is a great source of protein and so we're so to have those resources right away and not have to gather them kind of just eases their journey just a little bit so that's what we're doing all right so we have our setup here now we're going to take the box of bees the package and we're going to sit it down into the hive now the next step is we're going to remove the feed can and so when we remove this feed can that's when the bees are going to want to fly they've been caged up a while so we're going to we're going to move that out and then we're going to block them just a second and so now we have girls flying around in the air a few on the can <laughs> so we're going to take this feed can and set it to the side get our magnet over there now the next the next step is to remove the queen from the package box so to do that we have to move our our block a wood block and take her out and then we're gonna put it right back now so this is our queen in here this is a queen cage and you can see there's a pretty good ball of bees on that on that cage and so we're gonna shake some of them off we need to look in there and see her we want to know that she's alive and well and that she's active and ready to run this hive I'm gonna shake some bees off okay and we have a beautiful queen with a white mark on her you can get off there too there you go okay so now we're gonna get a little close-up of the queen in that cage I don't know if you can see her but she should be marked with white, and I noticed that she is. And that white mark on her thorax, it it's denotes that she's from this year. She's, in, she's a new queen. Okay, so we're gonna take this queen cage and we're gonna gently nestle it between the honey frames right in here. So there's a special, before we do that, we gotta take this plug out and, uh, and, and we're gonna replace that plug. Now see, she's in a cage, there's a cork plug in here and she cannot get out and they cannot get her out so what we're gonna do is make it where that they can get her out but it takes time so we're gonna replace this cork plug with a sugar plug or some people call it a candy plug we make our own we use many marshmallows and we just we're gonna roll up these marshmallows and stick them down into the cage we're gonna put a couple marshmallows in here and that's okay and the way the reason for this is that it, it to in our opinion it increases queen acceptance because it keeps her confined for 
a little bit longer and it gives the bees enough time to sort of get used to her as their queen before we re before she is released and so it also keeps the bees in this box so if I was just to let this queen out in here and they decide eh, this is not I don't like this home I want to go find another one we could come back tomorrow to remove this box and maybe they're all gone so if as long as she's in here and they're, they're not they're not leaving their queen so we have her we have them and so we'll give them a couple days and give them time to acclimate to their you know to their new environment and get used to it and sort of make it home before she's released so that's the whole point of having her like that in a cage and with the sugar so that she don't eat once she's made it she doesn't eat so they have to eat through here to get to her and so that'll take a few days and we'll come back and check on her and make sure she's released in a few days and that she's okay okay so let's go ahead and we're just gonna put it down between the frames and just nestle it in there and kind of smash it into the wax a little and we always face the screen down so if we were to put it into the wax then she couldn't breathe we don't want to do that so we face it down so she can get some airflow in there and also um, so that it's not up so that because we don't want honey to drip in there and fill up her cage and then she's stuck in a bad situation so facing down nestle it in there that's the way you want to do it so now all that's left to do is to put the lid on so what we're going to do is have the lid sort of ready and we're going to remove our cover from the big hole that we have in the package box just like this you see there's a lot of bees there we're gonna just shake them down in and put the lid on so that's how you install a package and we just cover it on up and then tomorrow we'll come back out and then we'll we'll open up the hive and all those bees will have migrated from that box over to where the queen is and so basically they're, they're gonna want to be where she is so that's why we kind of put her over to the side so once they all come out of the box Tomorrow we'll take the box out, replace the frames, put the lid back on. Then maybe two, three more days later, we're gonna come back one more time and we're gonna check and see if she's released. If she isn't, we may give her a little help out of that cage because by then they should have plenty of time to, to become accustomed to her. And so then we're gonna release the queen and once we do that, we're gonna leave it alone for a couple of weeks and just let them work, let them do their thing and then we'll just start our regular inspections and this is how we begin a new package of bees. Awesome guys, looking forward to an amazing season here at PNW. We're super excited to be partnered with them and to be out here at this beautiful spot, gave us our freedom. I think it's gonna make an a, amazing home for the girls. So we'll see you later in the season and we'll kind of keep you updated and posted on the progress. Thank you guys.